Hey guys, um, just kind of sorting through. This is all from the machinist lot that I got about a month ago. Remember I had all the drill bits, the taps back in the background, but there's uh, a lot of these uh, sterret pieces and uh, micrometers and whatnot. Show you what I got here. All this stuff, a lot of it's in poor condition. A lot of it's older. But these are sterret. <sighs> really kind of liking these. I'll just kind of glide on over it. There's some odds and ends, pieces of some stuff. Most of it's Starrett. There's a uh, Lufkin. <sighs> That's a Craftsman piece there. There's some uh, Brown and Sharp. Um, what is this bigger one here? I was just reading that a second ago. Let's see if I can get on that. Patent May 12th, 96. April 13th, 97. JT Slocum Company. But that's the bigger one. We got about uh, four of those. A couple of them are stare at. Those are deburring tools. Yeah, we got some gauges and whatnot back there. Uh, it's a Lufkin set. It's in really poor condition, but it's got the box. I got a Starrett set there. A couple pieces aren't in the box. They're somewhere around there kicking around, but... Uh, Couple of Starrett automatic punches there. They're nice. It's an old brown and sharp. That label actually uh, is from a General Electric worker. It's kind of interesting. I was looking at that. I'm going to trade this stuff off or sell it cheap or whatever. You know, I don't get into too much of the machining stuff. But, eh. Let's just stir it. But there's a lot of different pieces. Got odds and ends. Still kind of sorting through. I do like these though. Small and large one there. Let's uh, so stare it. Got some oddball stuff down there. So, that's it. You can let it go cheap or trade it. You know, some of this stuff's collectible. You may not want to use it. The condition's kind of rough on a bunch of it. But, uh, it's there. And it's got a story to tell. But, some of it is perfectly usable. It's just stuff that I don't particularly use. So, Appreciate it. Take care.